room for former Governor, Governor John Ryan. Oh, what a trip it is to come home. You know, tonight I wanted to take this opportunity to just talk about a friend. Just talk about one of my friends. It was way back in 1986, which was a long time ago, folks. Some of you remember, because you had to hold signs for me and canvas and the rest of it, but it was back in 1986 when a young Hawaiian boy from Honoka'a got elected governor of the great state of Hawaii. And as governor-elect, I had the opportunity to go to Arkansas and attend a governor's conference. And as they do in these things, they divide all of us up and they set, seat us at tables. And it's always the same, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. You know, just like you're taught in elementary school. And there I was, sitting next to this woman, and um, trying to think of something to say without lapsing into pigeon. <laughs> you know, I had the Billy Canoy syndrome. You see? And as I sat there, she looked at me and she said, you're from Hawaii. And I said, yes. And she said, you've got to tell me about your marvelous health care plan. Tell me all about it. Tell me how Hawaii was able to achieve almost universal health care. Because I want to see that for the people of Hawaii, uh, for the people of the United States. I want the same thing that you have in Hawaii. And we started to talk about that, and the ice was broken, and I didn't speak pidgin, and we had a wonderful conversation. And it was from that beginning that I recognized something special about this woman sitting next to me. And that's my first time, the first time I met Hillary Clinton. And the next time I met Hillary Clinton, we were running, we were, uh, she was here to talk about children and how the children of America deserve the chance. And then from there, we went to many, many more experiences. Sitting in the basement at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Hotel in Waikiki. See, the President Clinton had just got elected, and the first state that he wanted to visit was Hawaii. And we threw this great party for 20,000 people on the beach at Waikiki. And it was wonderful. It was typically Hawaiian. You know, there was all kinds of festivities and people around, and all the Hawaiian protesters in front of the stage. It was home. It was home. It was what we are. And before I got the chance to go out there, he wanted to know what he, could he do for Native Hawaiians. And we sat down in the basement of the hotel and we talked about the apology bill. You see, these were the moments that I remember about my friend and many, many others. And yet, and yet tonight I am tired. Tonight I am sick and tired of spending the last 30 years defending a friend against people who would destroy her because of her commitment to making America better. 30 years. It's been a long night, folks. An extraordinarily long night. And I cannot wait until the morning. I cannot wait until tomorrow. 
See, we need, we need to come together and to end this nonsense. We need to go back and build the nation that we and she and I and many others talked about way back then. You see, there was a moment of honesty when in one, the second debate, the moderator asked Donald Trump, why do you admire Hillary? And he said, because she never gives up. You see, that was about the only honest thing he said. And she never does. And you know why, folks? She never gives up for the same reason why you are here tonight. Because you care. Because these little children running in these halls, these little children are precious. And their future is our responsibility. She cares because all of us, whether you are born in Hawaii, whether you came here on a canoe or on the last jet plane, all of us are worthy of dignity and the ability to pursue happiness. You see, she cares like you and I. And so I hope that tomorrow we take the opportunity to demonstrate that commitment, to never give up, to welcome the sunshine, bring America back into the sunlight. You see, this election is important because it gives us a chance to demonstrate that we never give up. Ladies and gentlemen, Governor John Wyatt.